here, Rainer. There is no law. Racing is a blood sport. If you lose, you die. <laughs> Very cool. That was a clip from the new remake of the classic film Ben Hur, set to open this weekend across the country. It's already expected, though, to flop at the box office. In the Fox Light host, Michael Tamaro, with me right now. Joining me, uh, wow. Good morning. Big, big budget, Michael. Big budget. And yet it's flopping. Critics are panning it. It has like a 27% Rotten Tomato score, which is awful. Mm -hmm. And I think part of the problem here is there's not really the big clamor for a remake of this movie. You know, we kind of saw it last year with the remake of The Ten Commandments and Exodus, which did terrible at the box office. And we're starting to see that a little bit as well. And, and there's no real nostalgia f effect for it. I mean, who's the audience for this movie mm -hmm. at this point? But what they are hoping is. Yeah, that's a good question. Who yeah, I mean, it's tracking in at about. They're hoping it'll pull in about $20 million, and they'll be very lucky because it's tracking about 10 to 15 which is just dreadful. They are hoping, though, that there is an untapped audience that will go to this movie, and that is Christians. And there are about 100, over 100 screenings around the country taking place tonight, um, including oh. a very big one out in Saddleback, Orange County, at the Reverend Rick Warren's church. Okay. So, so that's where it will resonate. Exactly. So it's it costing $100 million, and, and it's only bringing in so far $15 million. That's not, not a good... Not good, but not on good. par for what we've been seeing all summer long. You know, the box office is down. Overall, Hollywood is up 3% for the year. They had a very strong spring with Deadpool and The Jungle Book. So yeah. We've seen... Uh, 15 summer film bombs yeah. uh, this, this summer. So what should we be watching? What, what do you like? What about Stranger Things? Ah, that is it. That is the viewing experience of the summer of 2015. Is that right? wow. It is so fabulous. I cannot rave enough about this show. Mark and I started it last weekend, Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and we finished it Sunday at 2 p.m. Went right through. Plot through is that eight right? episodes. Talk it's a total binge. 80s homage to uh, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. It's kind of a combination between The Goonies and Stephen King's It. That's all I'll say. Wow. So you, so you said this is the viewing experience of the summer. So yeah, some of the best storytelling we're seeing right now is taking place on Netflix, and we have a side. Here we go. There's a lot of, you know, big old twists and turns in the show and a lot of surprises. And it's just a really inventive, imaginative show. And I don't think there's anything really out there like it. People can check it out on Netflix. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. All right. So you really sold that one. <laughs> One more thing, tomorrow is National Radio Day, so National. if you're not headed to the theater to see Ben-Hur, how about you head to foxbusiness.com for an exclusive interview with radio host Elvis Duran. Here's a preview of that. How was it? Or not. 30 <laughs> years ago, I had no idea that radio would turn into this digital monster it's just now becoming. I mean, there are still a ton of people, tens of millions of people who listen to our show, how great is Elvis Duran? I mean, I grew up listening to that whole team on the radio, and now my, you know, my, my little cousins all listen to him, too. They reach over 10 million listeners a week, 80 markets. They're the number one syndicated radio show. It's, they're incredible. Actually, it's incredible to see the kind of penetration that radio still gets. Yeah, well, they're evolving. You know, they're doing what a lot of uh, other platforms like linear cable television are trying to do, which is evolve on all the different platforms, social media, digital, all that sort of thing. And they're yeah. doing it really, really well. Great stuff. All right, so check Check out foxbusiness.com, exclusive interview online. Michael Tamara, have a great weekend. You too. Thank you so much. Elvis Duran, watch the full interview, foxbusiness.com.